What is going on everybody? I hope everybody is enjoying their first couple hours of 2019. Uh, in this market breakdown, I'm actually going to be giving you guys a little more value. And what's going on here is that I'm actually going to be breaking down gold. And, you know, if you've been watching so far in the market breakdowns, I only focus on Euro USD, Euro JPY, and Euro JBP. I sometimes go into cryptocurrency, uh, like my favorite, XRP. But I wanted to just show you guys exactly how I can break down any chart and find out how, you know, where the next move is going. Uh, but before we go on to gold, I'm actually going to be updating you guys on the last trades from the last market breakdown. And, you know, just kind of keeping you guys in sync and, you know, as of the trades that we were taking. So, first off, if you took your JBP's trade from last market breakdown, congrats. You're, you should have already hit take profit. Uh, so, I'm actually going to delete that. Now, where are we headed? Okay, Euro JBP puts itself in a very nice position, guys. So, market broke down from this wedge, right? Not only hit our take profit, which was down here, but went the whole way down to this zone. And guess, see how precise that is, guys. As soon as price comes down to this zone, it immediately rises up. Now, I see market stopped right here, right? And what, what this tells me is that, first off, there's a lot of resistance right here, okay? With the EMAs being uh, right as a resistance with the Fibonacci level, this one right here, and this zone. So what this tells me is that we're actually going to be going into another short position. Top loss is at the previous zone, and take profit could actually be a little bit. If you guys want to be safe, down here. So for this trade, like I said, you guys realize that I don't have to explain too much. Um, you know, if you know the strategy that I'm using, you know exactly what I'm talking about and how easy it is uh, to, you know basically read the charts and it's very clear and I don't have to really explain myself but I try to um, and try to make it easier for you guys but you can definitely tell there's a lot of resistance the EMA you know is coming up to this area so it this is definitely a sell uh, and we'll be taking that sell okay now moving on to Euro JPY right First trade hit stop loss actually, and uh, if you've been with us, this is probably one of the first stop losses that we've seen in months. So uh, you know, even though it was 38 pip stop loss, I'm glad that we hit it stop loss because you know we haven't been losing at all. Um, with that being said, I know exactly where your JPY is heading next with that fake move. Right with that resistance. If we, if I show you guys on a daily, where it wicked in that area. Now, I did expect this to happen. Okay, um, you know I wasn't surprised when this happened. You know price came down. You guys see this huge support right here. I drew. Price has always closed right above that support. Okay, maybe it wicks down here. Maybe that's those are stop hunts. But it always, always, once it comes down to the zone, it does not like hanging out in the zone at all. So looking at, at the one hour chart, right? First off, isn't it crazy that once this trend line, I'm pretty sure we caught, uh, you know, oh yeah, we did catch this rise right here. If you guys, if you guys took my uh, telegram uh, on, the, on the telegram channel, I gave not only a signal, but in the group chat as well, I gave a buy right here. So I do remember that. Um, but price is dropping. So you guys are seeing wicks over here. So what I do expect price to happen is that 
just because your JPP and your USD are going to be dropping, which I'll explain your USD, I could see this maybe dropping up a little bit more. So um, it could, you know, come back and retest this, you know, zone. But however, I do see this coming up. First area would be to this trend line, probably break through it, retest it, and then back up here. Okay. So if you want to take this trade, you don't have to take this trade, but you could. My stop loss would be right under this zone. So I'm risking about 45 pips. But I'm also, it's kind of like a longer term, not necessarily longer term, maybe a week or less, um, depending. And, and I hear, here's the thing, guys. You guys realize I don't provide signals. I provide monkey breakdowns which means that you know I provide to you what the market is doing. So it's literally your choice what to enter and when to enter and when do you want to get out. So and I give you guys, you know, some areas, you know, maybe a 20 pip take profit over here but then a 70 pip take profit over there. Um so this trade I'll have to stop, I mean take profit right here just because you can kind of see this area here is respected 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 respected. So it'll probably you know, hit that area. Moving on to your USD. Now we're still in this trade. Um, really, your USD. There isn't much to mention new. Uh, if you guys are, you know, if you want to know more about your USD, check out the last market breakdown. Literally, uh, there isn't really much to explain other than the fact that this is going to drop <laughs> and uh, definitely to the black EMA. So I'm still in this trade, right? I'm, I'm not even gonna move it because we are in profit. But you know, nothing crazy. But this is expected to continue to drop. But I wanted to actually go ahead and show you exactly how I break down uh, the charts, right? And I want to do it with gold because now a lot of people like to trade gold but they don't know where gold is going they don't know how to read the charts and the charts are all the same regardless if you're trading cryptocurrency if you're trading uh, foreign exchange or index or stock market the charts always tell a huge pattern so the first thing I like to do is I'll draw out the zones so where areas are not hanging out guys so check this out right around the 19,000 area uh, or the 1,000 area 900 price doesn't like hanging out in that area you can also see that price there's different now if you want to know exactly why I draw zones and why I draw uh, support levels you have to learn it in the university and the thing is knowledge is the best asset and so like basically I wanted to throw or uh, draw a rectangle right here because you know you see you do see this as a resistance however it's not a rectangle okay it's a horizontal line there's a difference and there's one over there Definitely one over here. This is actually probably a triangle or a right angle right here. Okay. Now keep in mind, I'm on the monthly here, right? I'm just drawing up the bigger picture. Uh, now, on the monthly, drawing trend lines is also very, very crucial. Okay. So. I can actually see a very beautiful trend line over here. So if you catch this right here, look at that. That is beautifully respected. Wick after wick after wick. Another trend line right here. See that? Now, I don't like to draw too much on the monthly. I like going back to the uh, daily and the weekly. I call it this huge drop, by the way, guys, back in uh, May. And 
<laughs> Jeez, it's so funny. And I'm about to blow everybody's mind in about a couple minutes. So looking at uh, gold, first thing I can see from this whole analysis already is a Fibonacci. Right, let me draw that. From the top over here, because you can see this top is always kind of respected to this bottom. Okay. Or I can switch it. Right, so you, you kind of always, with Fibonacci, you kind of see which one is a zero, which one is a one. And uh, based on your, which one is holding up more. So this one is definitely holding up more when you have the one and the zero to the top. Because look, look at this beautiful wick to wick. And it's perfectly respected. The 61 was respected here and the 78 was respected here. Now, so what is happening with gold, guys? Right? I'll go back to the daily, hop in there, and see what's really going on. So, I like to go back, you know, five months on a daily just to kind of see what's going on. So, first off, this trend line might be important in the future, but you guys can see here. Once that trend line was broken, I called that drop, and we knew it was going to drop right here. So, for this one, you guys can see a trend line going on right here, too. Or, if you wanted to do wick to wick. I wanted to actually keep, I want to keep that trend line right there. Another trend line is, okay, not that. <laughs> It'll be you guys can you guys can see that very clearly. Okay. So keep in mind a lot of say a lot of people say I draw wedges a lot. And uh, in reality that really actually helps. Uh, and it just so happens that everything comes down to a certain point where it has to make or break, and that's when you, you have to pull the trigger. Um, but so going on to a horizontal right here, guys, check this out. Boom. Respected, respected, respected. It's always been very respected. Once it was broken, boom, dropped. And you got to put that. That's a very respected horizontal rate. So you guys got to put that in um, consideration. So now I'd like to go down to the four hour. Kind of see, you know, how is the EMA is looking? This makes perfect sense to me right here. Everything that I'm drawing, these points that the market is touching, it all makes a lot of sense to me. So first thing I noticed, guys, is that Gold is reaching a certain level of resistance. Okay. Second second thing I notice is that the EMAs are getting further apart from each other rather than when they were here. Okay. So what that means is that these will always try to come back to the EMAs. So looking at gold, I'm going to draw a couple more and I'm going to change the color of these trend lines just to show you that it's, uh, you know, kind of more on the one hour slash four hour chart so we'll just have it kind of green but you guys can see a mini trend line right here uh, nope not good enough for me however I do see a zone in this area that I wanted to draw up right here Okay, see price does not, you know, had trouble trying to break that zone. First rejection, second rejection. It barely got on top of it, but then broke. And you guys can see, see double rejected again over here. And then it, once it finally broke through it, used it as support, used it as support again and rose. So literally, let me tell you exactly what's going to happen with market. And it's, it's very, it looks very obvious to me. But market seems to be either, you know, creating an, so it's going to either 
come up with this area and then drop down right uh, or that's the first option or second option it's just gonna drop down and the, where does it take profit oh that is not what I wanted to do I wanted to do a short position stop loss right above the 129.4 area where I have this horizontal line take profit this is this is such a big you know people would say that this is kind of a swing trade so and this is the trade that I'm taking uh, and in reality I'm actually trading this on a higher loss size more than most uh, and I'm just very confident in it you know what I mean and in reality gold looks like it's gonna drop and I'm trying to take advantage of that and you guys can kind of see that um, why I put my take profit in that area is because if I draw up a uh, oh, right here this is a resistance of its own so this is a trade that I'm in guys um, I'm very confident in it and I do see this happening uh, if you guys wanted to be a little bit more careful, maybe your first take profit would be uh, right here. So let me draw that up for you guys right here. So your first take profit, you know, if you want it to be safe, is one, two, six, five point five, and my take profit is you know one twenty five four. Um. But yeah, so that's exactly how I look at charts. And you see, it has uh, it's very smooth to me and very clear to me. It might not be for others, and you might be confused as to how I did everything so quick. But it's just that is just experience in years of trading and looking at the charts. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope everybody you know enjoys these trades specifically. And let's profit right from the start of 2019, guys. Um, take it easy. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys later.